at you, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Skeletron Faction 4 series, Red Shadows, Gyre Wolf. Very similar to the Wolf Troopers, Gyre Wolf here is done in a silver deco with a darker gray rather than black, it looks like. His helmet is a unique piece, but his gun does appear to be just the same as the Wolf Troopers pistol. Uh, looks like he's got probably a lot of the same accessories in the back behind him, but we'll take a better look at that in a minute. On the back of the box, we have the other figures in this line. The Blood Wolf, the Roboskull Mark II, and the Roboskull Mark II SE. We got Red Weasel, Wolf Trooper, Assassin Skeledrones, the Skeletron figure, which I can't wait to see that one when it comes out. The Jungle Wolf Trooper, which I'm not sure I ordered. And Gyre Wolf. On our uh, data file here, codename Gyre Wolf, file name Goggles Gary. Somebody hated their kid. Primary military specialty intelligence. Secondary military specialty psychological operations. Birthplace, Chicago, Illinois. I wouldn't be surprised if we found out this guy was actually a Chicago politician. An enigmatic, provocative personality in the ranks of the Red Shadows, Gyre Wolf is driven to push boundaries and redefine beliefs, relentlessly pursues hidden data, esoteric histories, and occult artifacts to unlock secrets and leverage power. Yeah, definitely a Chicago politician. Trained in psychological warfare and experimental technology. Paranoid and obsessive. Yeah, Chicago politician. Seeks to propel human humanity to its peak potential by destabling the prevailing systems that foster emotional and intellectual apathy. Gyrowulf's pursuit of redacted is crucial. So let's go ahead and cut this sucker open. I gotta say, these are quite possibly the easiest to cut open packages I have dealt with in a long time. It's kind of nice. And it came off real nicely. Uh, we've survived all the imagery. Although I, I guess I would kind of have liked if they didn't have this like blue shadow in here, just because part of the figure's uh, image is out there. I wonder what the swirling mass around him is supposed to be though, or represent. He comes with the same backpack as our Wolf Trooper, only in silver and black, and it looks pretty cool. Yeah, I just noticed there's some holes back here, and I wonder if something is supposed to be able to peg into those, because none of the equipment looks like it should. Or if there's going to be some kind of stand later, or... Oh! I wonder if there'll be a spot under the Robo Skull to attach these guys by these things. I definitely like the color, de color deco on this one much better than on the Wolf Trooper. Probably why it's... Uh... We have a swirling disc for his stand, giving us something somewhat different. That's kind of cool too. And he's got the three peg holes. Wait a minute. He's also got the standard stand. I'm not... Does this stand actually attach to? No, that doesn't seem like it would go like that. He also comes with a holographic head. Why? Feel like I've missed part of the story already. As mentioned before, his helmet is actually a somewhat different design from the actual Wolf Trooper helmets. 
Not a huge difference per se, mostly in the visor and the top part here, but just enough to make it different. His gun, silver and black and red, is, yes, just a duplicate of the Wolf Troopers. And his body is the exact same as the Wolf Troopers, and I am not going to try to take that harness off because I still can't get the Wolf Trooper one to go back in place properly. It's interesting to note, though, is it looks like his glasses have little cracks in them. But... They appear to be the same as the visor here, so that's kind of interesting. And obviously he can hold his gun, probably. Articulation wise, we can turn his neck around a little bit. There does not seem to be a whole lot of up and down give to this though. The arm can go up down, forward, back, spin around if we put it out like that. We have the single joint in the elbow and it has a peg in it so it can spin around. We have the spin in the wrist. There does not appear to be any kind of hinge again. And it does look like it's just the exact same hinge as the, or the same as the skull the Skull Trooper. The Wolf Trooper. Uh, he has the same ball joint at the waist, allowing him to move around. The jointing in the leg, allowing you to kick up this way, kick down, kick forward, kick back. Double joint at the knee again. And I'm going to say, the metallic paint job on this guy really makes it stand out. It's so shiny. Uh, I definitely like it. This 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 figure just looks amazing. Uh, although I'm not too impressed with the bald head. The helmet fits on his head just fine. This is another one of those things where it would have been kind of nice to have actually gotten multiples. And I'm kind of curious now. Uh, you can fit the holographic head on him. And I wish that there was some story behind this. Maybe there is. I guess maybe I'd have to actually go and look through the, um, the Kickstarter page to find out why he's got a holographic head. Oh. I wonder if that'll be... Com Ouch. You can put it on a growth trooper, too. That popping noise, man. So, we do have his unique figure stand, which there was no actual mention as to what its specific purpose is, if there is one. And we put his gun in place and drop the figure stand again. Out of curiosity. Oh yeah. <laughs> uh, I like it. To be perfectly honest, for some reason this head seems far more suited to the uh, to the his tank driver than to that figure. Yeah, we can put the holographic head on there. I, I really want to know what the holographic head is supposed to be for. Anyway. 
like with our wolf trooper he's got the backpack i am a little concerned about the, oh yeah see you can already see the paint has come up just from pegging it in once some of the silver paint has already come off the uh the, the peg that's always my concern especially with like metallic paint it seems to me like it's more likely to trip chip off he does not come with a rifle i guess you could say the rifle was replaced with the extra head and uh the extra stand which i really want to know what this is actually supposed to be representing because it is definitely the thing it looks like the thing that was in his background image and like with the wolf trooper he's got the claws that can be attached and hopefully this does not damage any of the paint and i cannot get these ones on there we go. Starting to get a bit concerned there. There we go. Oh, Jesus. I thought I broke it. Ah, it's just a ball joint. Thank you, God. There we go. You know, I haven't seen any of these figures on sale on Big Bad Toy Store or um, Entertainment Earth. And Big Bad Toy Store does often get Kickstarter figures. So I'm kind of surprised. But there you go. We've got our Geyer Wolf and our Wolf Trooper here. Definitely a nice add to the collection. And I'm trying to remember which figures they were making in the six inch line. I don't know if they made all the same ones in the six inch that they are doing in the four inch line. But I hope they did. And I hope I actually ordered them all because to be honest, kind of at the end of the Kickstarter, it was getting a bit confusing because I had done the jump in the all in kind of final all in tier that they did. And it still wasn't quite all in when you get right down to it because there were some of the non-included figures, which I thought were mostly just the troop builder packs. But I don't remember for sure now. So anyway, I hope you like this. And uh, again, let me know if you uh, have picked up these figures yourself through the Kickstarter or maybe you're going to go to the website and see if you can order some more. Anyway, peace and love.